Griffin Bass here with GoMustangSports.com. I'm here with head coach of Hamilton and the Continentals after their big win, dethroning number 12, Lynchburg and the Hornets, 16-15. to Coach, that was also career win number 100 for you. How's it feel, your overall thoughts on the game, and to pick up a career win number 100? It's, I was, as I was walking down, someone mentioned that. I didn't even know. You didn't even but, know? No, that's fine. Um, listen, it's, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ha just happy for the kids. Like, uh, I think they showed uh, a great resilience today. They came out and they competed. And, um, you know, before I even get going down that path, you know, I've been uh, to a lot of uh, different events and things of that nature over the years. And Coach Paul Cadabian has put together an amazing event. Um, the support staff um, and the, the teams that are here. And Lynchburg was an outstanding opponent. Uh, today, Coach does an amazing job with them. And yesterday, I think, you know, we had another great battle with Tufts yesterday. And, you know, a tie game deep in the third period. And, and Coach Sanofo has done a great job with his group. And, you know, it's just a, a fantastic event. So we we enjoyed being here. Really appreciate that, Coach. Hopefully we can have you back uh, more in the future. Um, let's dive into the game. I guess uh, your keeper, Ben Kepler, that was his first career start. Yep. Um, any reason for the goalkeeper change? And then what were your thoughts on him, uh, you know, really stepping up 15 saves today? Ben played outstanding. You know, it's it's one of those things where in your program you have belief in, in all your guys. And uh, we had just a great belief in, in Ben. And, you know, he went out and, and competed um, to the best of his ability today and made some unbelievable saves and, and uh, did a great job for us. Uh, in, in the face-off, you guys uh, had 21 face-off wins to 13 for Lynchburg. How big was that? Uh, I know Geb Auer had a, had a couple goals directly off of the face-off. How, how big was it? his first winning? career goal. Yes, and uh, I, they, I don't know the stats. Were, yeah. yeah, so... Um, listen, our, our plan going into today is, is once again, we have, you know, we have a three-headed monster, so to speak, and, and we, we have very capable face-off young men, and, and we went into today saying, hey, we're going to rotate all you guys, and we're going to stay fresh, and um, I thought they all did a great job of staying mentally prepared and, and going out and dominating the whistles that uh, they had the opportunity to compete with. Uh Bunch of all Americans uh, and, 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 uh, and all conference players for the attack on, uh, on on Lynchburg. How were you guys able to slow them down just enough to, to edge out this one? You know, uh, we did a combination. We played a little bit of zone today. Played a little bit of man to man. You know, we just we had we had a great belief in our players, and um, I thought they played great, sturdy on ball defense today. Um, got stops when we had to. A couple there at the end, and. Um, you know, we just, we didn't do anything different. You know, we just went out and we just said, listen, let's let's compete to the best of our ability. And uh, as we're competing, let's try to play and, and execute to the highest of our potential. So that's what they focused on today. And I thought they showed a ton of resilience and, and got stops when they needed to. Offensively, it seemed like you guys were pointedly, you guys were aiming high a lot. Was that anything in the scouting report going against Hadley, knowing that he likes to defend low at times? Or is that just no, how, the, how I things mean, play out? It's it's interesting, you know, when you talk about offensive players and their shooting thing, like you don't want to get in their head. Just shoot for net, you know, take the opportunities that are given to you, believe in your shot, don't second guess it. And I think that was what we told our guys is is take the opportunities that you have and, and finish them. Awesome. I really appreciate it, Coach. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. Hopefully we have you back down here soon. Sounds good. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it.